Because of the current economy, the entertainment industry is suffering. In this documentary, I'm going to be looking at how it affects the music industry. First, I talked to local band Jimmy the Squirrel to see how the economy is affecting the local music scene. Next, I spoke to the lead singer of Enough's Enough to see how the music industry is being affected on a national level. Well, in light of the economy right now, you would think that with people having tough times with their gig and struggling to make ends meet, uh, that it would affect uh, the attendance at these rock concerts. It's not the contrary, though. Know, back in the, in the early 1900s, my grandfather told me when there's during the Great Depression in his life, he said the only thing that flourished was entertainment, plays, uh, movie shows, and uh, uh, musical concerts. You know, they, it was a little different. It was more big band back then. But people need to get away and find something that they can grab on and turn into theirs. And entertainment has always flourished even during bad times. <laughs> Mainstream music today is, to me, uh, oversaturated. There are some really good artists out there. And I don't want to be negative because I really always look for the, I look for the good instead of the bad. But there's just too much out there, and it's like I said earlier, too much product, not enough demand. But the cream does always rise to the top without sound cliche, and there are some really good strong bands that are coming out right now. I think American Idol and these television shows have kind of watered things down. But let's face it, it's a young woman and man's business right now. And whoever has the best tunes and the biggest management and, uh, and the numbers behind them to push it has a chance. I also talked to a local venue owner to see how the economic downturn had affected business. Um, well, the problem started a few years ago. Um, Probably three years ago when we started off with the smoking ban. Closely followed by uh, Tesco's, Sainsbury's, Asda, all the major supermarkets doing low price alcohol. Followed by a credit crunch and the whole business has felt a massive, massive strain just by those three things. Very simple. Uh, here's a pint of lager. I should demonstrate with a pint of lager. I'll give you a pint. First of all, <coughs> um, at the moment is at 17.5%. In January it goes up to 20%. So that's that amount of lager. Um, the brewery, uh, because you're in the building, charges rent for it. Uh, they've also produced a beer that we've got to buy from them. Um, they deliver it and all the costs that come with actually buying some beer, that's another 60%. So, our little thing you've got to survive on 20%, which is roughly there. What's it, 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 what's it